This headline section represents a time frame from 2 BC to AD 95. These are the tribulation seals which have been opened, are overlapping, and intensifying to this day. This center section represents our current day and year. The purple colored section represents future dates. This is an illustration and graph depicting the pre-tribulation, pre-wrath rapture. A short outline comparing Jesus' account of the tribulation period found both in the book of Revelation and in the book of Matthew and in his words. The illustration text is color-coded for reference. Purple text represents future events. Green text represents scriptures from the book of the Revelation. Red text represents scriptures from the book of Matthew. Black text is narration or descriptive commentary. Blue text are links to Bible references or external commentaries. Important note, Jesus names tribulations seals 1 through 5 the birth pains of the tribulation period and says, They are not yet the end. He then says of the sixth tribulation seal and the judgments to follow, There will be a great tribulation, such as has not occurred since the beginning of the world until now, nor ever will again. This is the beginning of the seven years of great tribulation, the great and terrible day of the Lord and the wrath of the Lamb. Next are the judgments which are to follow. This illustration compares the book of Revelation chapter 6 as corresponding to the book of Matthew chapter 24. Jesus compares the first tribulation seal as found in Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, to global conquest and political intrigue found in Matthew chapter 24, verses 6 and 7. This seal was broken between AD 1 and AD 95, has been ongoing, and has been overlapping the other seals, and has been intensifying. The second tribulation seal as found in Revelation 6, verses 2 and 4, as corresponding to Matthew 24, verse 7, Wars and Rumors of War. This seal was broken between AD 1 and AD 95, has been ongoing, and has been overlapping the other seals, and has been intensifying. The third tribulation seal from Revelation 6, verse 5, as compared to Matthew 24, verse 7, Famine and Earthquakes, this seal was broken between AD 1 and AD 95, has been ongoing, and has been overlapping the other seals, and has been intensifying. The fourth tribulation seal from Revelation 6, verses 7 and 8, as compared to Matthew 24, verse 9, death. This seal was broken between AD 1 and AD 95, has been ongoing, and has been overlapping the other seals, and has been intensifying. The fifth tribulation seal from Revelation 6, verses 9 through 11, as compared to Matthew 24, verses 9 and 10, martyrs, persecution, antichrist, falling away. This seal was broken between AD 1 and AD 95, has been ongoing, and has been overlapping the other seals, and has been intensifying. The sixth tribulation seal from Revelation 6, verses 12 through 14, as compared to Matthew 24, verse 29, cosmic disturbances, blood moon, darkened sun. The opening of the Sixth Tribulation Seal is the beginning of the seven years of Great Tribulation, also known as Daniel's 70th week, and is yet to occur. It will be the beginning of the seven years of the Great Tribulation period, also known as the Great and Terrible Day of the Lord or the Wrath of the Lamb. These first six seals will be followed by a silence in heaven for half an hour, while these three events occur, sealing of the 144,000 during the Sixth Seal, Revelation 7, Verses 1 through 8. The gathering and the rapture of God's elect. Matthew 24, verses 29 through 31. Multitude from the tribulation before the throne of God. Revelation 7, verses 9 through 17. The foregoing events are followed by the breaking of the seventh tribulation seal. Then the great and terrible day of the Lord begins with the sounding of the seven tribulation trumpets. The sixth trumpet is the midpoint of the great tribulation. And finally, the wrath of the Lamb through the pouring out of the seven bowls of wrath. 